Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we'll be covering one of Andre Sloan's videos, and this one will be about NC Tyrant Hunter and his vast criminal record dating back to the 1980s. So, yeah, one of these so-called freedom fighters has a rather lengthy criminal record. Go figure! So let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. You don't have to do all that. How am I obstructing your? You got all you got to do is bend down to get it. You're gonna ask me to get off my truck. To get off my truck. How's that gonna fly? You gotta use two balls. Ball. I. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. What you've been waiting for for the last several minutes. Here is the criminal history of our extremely obese, antisocial, vile, and disgusting, and hostile supposed freedom fighter of our rights, Jeffrey McKay, a.k.a. the NC Tyrant Hunter. So here's his criminal history. In 1989, back when he was 19 years old, oops, did I just give up his birth date, or his birth year anyways? So anyways, on January 7th, 1989, he was arrested for consuming alcohol and for possession of alcohol by an underage person. He was found guilty on both charges and received fines for what he did. Now on 7-1-89, he was arrested in Harnett County, North Carolina. Uh, for a noise ordinance, and uh, he was found guilty and received some fines. And we move forward to March 12, 1990, injury to a personal property in Harnett County, North Carolina, and he was found guilty and sentenced to six months probation and some fines. Now, on March 12th, he was also arrested for carrying a concealed weapon, um, and uh, there was nothing listed there, but I think it uh, encompassed the uh, six months probation and the fines there. And then on 3191, he was arrested for driving while under the influence in Cumberland County, North Carolina. He was found guilty. He was given 60 days in jail and some fines. And then on 9-12-92, he was arrested for driving while under the influence in Lee County, uh, North Carolina. He was found guilty. He was given seven days in jail, uh, one year probation, and some fines. Uh, on January 10th, 1993, he was arrested for assaulting a female, which was a misdemeanor, in Moore County, North Carolina, and that was dismissed by the district attorney's office. Um, on 4-11-93, he was arrested for no license and obstructing an officer in Harnett County, uh, North Carolina. And he play, ended up pleading guilty to the no license and received some fines, and they dismissed the obstructing the officer charge. Uh, then we go to 925-93. He was arrested for driving with a revoked license in Moore County, North Carolina. He was found guilty and given eight months probation and some fines. On 11-14-93, he was arrested for assault uh, with inflicting serious injuries in uh, Harnett County, North Carolina. And those charges were dismissed by the court. Now, it says 10-6 uh, of uh, 2001, I've got a reckless driving charge and a DWI charge. I think what happened was is he pled guilty to the reckless driving and received some fines, and they dropped that DWI charge you see there. On uh, 4 uh, 2004, he was arrested again for driving while under the influence in Harnett County, North Carolina. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, he pled guilty to those charge uh, to a reckless driving charge uh, instead of the DWI. So now he was behaved himself for a couple of years there, and then on May first, two thousand six, he was arrested for driving without a license. You think there's a pattern developing here? 
drunk driving, driving without a license, uh, anything that has to do with physical violence. Yep, sounds like this guy was uh, training to become a future frauditor. He knew it was going to come. He knew that uh, YouTube was going to come along and pay him many years later. Or could it just be that he was just a low-life thug even back then? Didn't really care about anything. But now YouTube just pays him now. Uh, or no license. And that was in Harnett County, North Carolina again. He was found guilty and he received some fines. Now, on 10 19 2010, uh, appears he wanted to be a cop. He was uh, ticketed for use of red or blue lights in Cumberland County, North Carolina. Well, that does fit with the idea that some of these frauditors uh, really wanted to be cops, but they didn't have the qualifications or the moral standing to be, be officers. But, you know, there are officers out there who duh, do have a shady past, and uh, some of them that are actually uh, thugs in, in their daily life. Which makes me wonder, if this guy had become an officer, what kind of an officer would he be today? Would he be the thuggish type, or would he actually be the uh, law enforcing type? And uh, the court voided those charges after he removed, he proved that he removed the lights. Now, uh, so nine years goes by, and then on September 3rd, 2019, he's arrested for disorderly conduct in Lee County, North Carolina, along with the charge of resisting an officer. Now, he pled guilty to the uh, uh, resisting an officer charge and was given 60 days in jail. Uh, the uh, disorderly conduct charge was dismissed. Uh, for the plea to the resisting an officer. That right there is the one uh, from the prison in Sanford, uh, North Carolina. He played that charge out for almost four years. Uh, he was just recently convicted in May of 2023. Um, after the appeal, he wanted a, a jury trial, and he was found guilty. So that video you see where he claims he doesn't know where he is and he's not on a prison property and all that, well, he was found guilty. He received 60 days in jail. I don't know if he told his lens lickers about that charge or not or about having to do those 60 days. I haven't really paid much attention to his uh, channel. Now, on uh, January 9th, 2020, he was arrested in Wayne County, North Carolina for trespass, and I cannot find any uh, disposition for that charge, so I'm not sure what happened there. Now, on January 14th, 2021, he was arrested for trespass in Halifax, North Carolina. He was found guilty and given 12 months probation. Uh, then we have an unknown date. I don't know when this happened, but I know he was arrested for trespass and disorderly at the National Guard Armory in Halifax County, North Carolina. Uh, and it shows that he was convicted on 8 18 21, uh, but there's nothing listed there for um, uh, what. Uh, his disposition was as with all these other charges right here trespass in Hal halifax north carolina again he was convicted on 8 18 12, uh, 21 and then he's got another charge for trespass disorderly at the armory in halifax county north carolina he was found guilty again on 12 8 of 22. so right there ladies and gentlemen that gives you all the charges our young man has all, uh, uh, I'm not sure, what was it, 21, 21 charges, something like that, 24 charges maybe, and 17 convictions. So that is everything we have on his criminal history. Well, that's everything you have on your his criminal history. I just wonder how much more is actually out there because some of these frauders have uh, committed crimes in numerous districts around the uh, country, so it might be a bit harder to come by as far as finding those charges might be. But it still goes to show you that these so-called freedom fighters are not actually freedom fighters. They're just a bunch of uh, thugs and morons who, uh, well, think they got a bad rap with the cops, but it appears that uh, 
uh, due to their lengthy criminal history, it appears that, well, they're the ones who in instigate these whole things, not the cops. And they're just butthurt because the officers wouldn't allow them to do whatever they wanted because, you know, there are consequences to your actions. There are laws in place in this country. It's, well, not exactly an entirely uh, consequence-free society. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.